Hey, Tim Sykes here. Got a busy morning already. The market's been open for just over a half hour, but already you guys have seen the perfect play. The perfect opportunity has come and gone. It was telegraphed to you in my watch list last night. It was telegraphed in my real-time commentary and trading this morning. You guys need to pay attention because you're wasting money if you're not profiting off stuff like this. Okay, first of all, CNAT, I discovered it last night in the mid fours. Thanks to some of you in my chat room for posting the news with Novartis. Uh, this is a little $50 million company, and they just basically got $50 million in cash from Novartis, which is a $170 billion company. So when a small company announces a big contract with a big company, that's meaningful. That's going to push the stock up, and there's going to be opportunities to be make money long and short, but you have to go in with a plan. It's all about planning. Success is all about planning in this game. Uh, first, let me just show you some of my recent trades. You know, I'm making a few hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars. Sometimes I'm losing, although lately I've been on a hot streak, a few hundred dollars. Those of you who think that becoming a millionaire is all about making 50000 or or 100000 you're wrong. Small gains add up, and my students prove it every single day. Secondly, please take advantage of this holiday sale. This is a Christmas and Hanukkah sale. You save 30, 40, 50, 60% off newsletters and DVDs. It's only going to be a few days to celebrate the holidays. We only reward people with annual subscriptions. Stop asking for deals on monthly subscriptions. Understand that education takes longer than a month or two. Okay? If you truly want to be my next millionaire student, which is all I care about, I only care about creating more millionaires. That's my main priority in life you're going to need to study and it's not going to happen in a few days or weeks. If you only have like a month to study, don't bother studying with me. Don't waste my fucking time because I just don't have any extra time. I'm already strapped for time as it is. Anyway, CNAT, let's talk about this. My chat room is going crazy. I copy and pasted some trades. People are buying it in the mid fours, selling it in the low fives. Uh, you know, tricks made 1100 bucks. Uh, Papa Tin, first little trade, but, you know, made a few hundred bucks. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. TCU Mech made like a thousand bucks. Uh, $250, $290. Um, let me also answer some questions, too, because this one, you need to plan. I, I really cannot reinforce that. You can't just buy any penny stock randomly. This is not some Wolf of Wall Street bullshit buy whatever's hot kind of thing. The way that, you know, I made my money and the way that my millionaire students have made their money is through intense planning. So just because the stock is up doesn't mean that I'm going to buy it. Um, and for planning, you really need to look, hold on, where's my watch list? One sec, let me find this. Here is my watch list that I send out every night. Sometimes it's five, seven, 10, 15, 20 stocks that I'm watching, but I specifically have a plan in every single watch list. I don't just say like, oh, let me buy this stock at any price. You know, you don't go to like the grocery store because you're thirsty for milk and you say, oh, I want milk so bad, I'm just gonna buy a bottle for, you know, a thousand bucks. That's not how it works, okay? So let me get to this, hold on, I gotta cough. Let me pause this for a second. Sorry, I'm still a little sick, I'm getting over something. Um, but here's my watch list, and I specifically go over the plays for the next day. So if you're ever considering trading, you really need to read this the night before, or depending on what time zone is, at least before the market open. And on this one, you know, SYNC, GSAT, CNAT, these were my three buys yesterday. CNAT, I say only CNAT is a potential dip buy again. I say only CNAT is a potential buy again. And I say... Be careful, as it's already up a ton, too, so dip buys only are likely for me. I won't chase it up too risky. Okay, so this is a very clear plan here on CNAT. And you can see, after the initial spike, uh, you know, with, oh, someone else just profited. Look at this. I'm getting tweets real time. This is an earnings winner. I was buying PIR uh, in the four, in the mid eights, eight forties yesterday or a few days ago. Nice. And I mistimed it. I, I didn't hold long enough. Look at this. Travis just made 128. 
and he signed up last night. For those of you thinking whether you should sign up, look at this. You can make back your money in one night, one trade. Nick made some money. Let me just show you some tweets. I mean, this is like kind of insane lately, but it's kind of cool. Uh, so that was Nick made some money. Travis made some money. Varun made 92 bucks. Ryan made some money on CNAT. Palmer made 888. Papa Tin made some money on CNAT. Daniel bought it at 488, sold it at 542. Very nice. You know, making two, 300 bucks. <clears throat> I'm not even going to pause it. I'm coughing too much. I don't care. I got to talk. I got to teach. Here's Brent. Made some good money on CNAT. Mythos is buying Fred, which is a nice uptrend also today. Uh, Arnold made, uh, what, like 200 bucks on CNAT. Amon did a good job making nearly 1000 Uh Here's another Tim. Made 220 bucks in less than two minutes. Michael made 200 Eric made 900 Dan made some good money. Uh, Josh looks like he made like 75 bucks. Mitch, uh, nice big profit. I don't know what it was, but it's silver subscription. John made some decent money. Uh, Chris made 200 bucks. Here's another Chris. Wait, this is different Chris's. <coughs> Four minute trade left 150 on the table and he made 150. Anyways, those are just a few tweets I wanted to show you. Um, but let me get to this trade. Be careful as it's already up a ton. So dip buys are only likely for me. I won't chase it up too risky. Please read my watch list. A lot of you guys are asking me questions because you're not reading the watch list at night. That's a mistake. Uh, let me talk about the chat room also. By the way, at the market open, I said this. CNAT, I won't chase. Failed morning spike so far. So I'm reinforcing what I said in the watch list. This is why some of you guys, you're like, oh, I don't want to read the watch list. I only care about alerts. That's a mistake. Or I don't care about alerts. I only want the watch list. This whole thing is continuation. It's trying to understand what a stock is going to do. Sometimes I'm going to be wrong. Sometimes I'm going to sell too early. But on the whole, I'm going to have the right mindset. Yesterday, I have to bring this up before I talk about this trade. Uh, GSAT, I was buying it on the dip. What I like to do is on these stocks that spike a lot, I really don't like to chase them right at the market open because that opens up a lot of risk. So I like buying them on the dip. GSAT, I was buying it in the 120s. I was not buying it in the 130s or 140s. And frankly, you know, I, I could have, I would have been okay. <coughs> but the real opportunity was dip buying. And buying on the dip and then selling into the spike. And on GSAT, I was buying in the 120s, selling in the 130s. I made a little bit of money, but the big money was selling in the 150s. This spike happened at like 10.30 a.m. So this was like 45 minutes after I bought. This is a very delayed spike. It doesn't usually happen like that. Um, so I was off on my timing. But I, was, I, I had the right mindset. I had the right approach on GSAT. So I don't mind selling too early. Okay, this is not a perfect science. <clears throat> you see, I probably shouldn't even be doing this video. I should be getting better, but I can't stop because there's so many freaking plays. Anybody who does not trade during the holidays is a fucking moron, okay? And you can quote me on that because every single day right now, we have plays. And I know some people, they're like, oh, I'm going to take off for the holidays. You are an idiot or you are a newbie or you are a fraud because nobody, I don't care who you are, if you are a veteran trader, you know that there are so many plays right now. And I'm sick as shit. You can hear it in my voice. You can hear me coughing. I'm not taking a day off. I don't care what happens. <coughs> I'm going to leave these coughs in so you understand. This is real trading. I don't know how to ignore opportunities. And the people that do, there's something wrong with them. Or they're just a fraud. Um, but CNAT... So I was buying it in the mid fours yesterday, got really nice execution. Let me actually show my trade, uh, too many trades to, I don't ask for these trades, mind you. Okay. I would love there to be a day where there's no trades, but I can't help it when there's, when there's good trades. Uh, CNAT, this was last night. 
<coughs> and I specifically bought it in the low force when the news first came out. I actually even posted a screenshot here too, just to show you that, you know, I only got 500 shares, mind you. This was a very small position, but I made roughly a dollar a share, which is pretty sick. Uh, 20% plus when the news comes out. So you usually have a few opportunities to profit from these kinds of contract plays. If you can catch it quickly, you know, you had to be really damn quick. I was trying to buy this here, you know, in the mid threes. I had to change my limit. <coughs> Hold on. Let me get a drink of water. I had to change my limit a few times. I wanted 2,000 shares. I only got 500. But you got this big spike last night. And thank you to whoever posted it in my chat room. If you're in my chat room, guys, you should be there all the time, you know? Right now, as I'm filming this video, we've got like a thousand people in the chat room right here. Look at this, a thousand eighty-five people in the chat room. And at night, I mean, it's it's even keeps going. Um, this guy wants to send me a, a Hanukkah present. I don't need a Hanukkah present. What this guy said, I responded. I said, no gift necessary. My best gift is you studying and becoming successful. And people are private messaging me. I love seeing this. Uh, people asking me questions. Bailey made money, 463. Seven, JD Hill made 250. All right, let me talk about this for a sec. <coughs> I know some of you want me to be more organized. It's not possible. Not with this many plays, this many students, and this much opportunity. If you want organization, guess where you have to go, where I'm not being interrupted. Watch my DVDs. You should have all watched my How to Make Millions DVD. It is a 35-hour monstrosity, and it explains all of these patterns. And Spikeability, too, is my, uh, one of my newest DVDs. And Penny Stocking, Penny Stocking Part 2, Penny Stocking Framework, these are required watching. <coughs> this is the foundation of your education. And if you miss out, guess what? It's because you have not studied and prepared ahead of time. So CNAT, I made a dollar a share on the initial spike, took my profits well. Then I said, I'm only going to dip by it. I didn't really want to dip by it last night because, again, you know, I am not feeling that great, so I'm not trading like 24-7. This morning, though, I'm looking for potential dip buy. When will that be? Pre-market, you know, it spikes from 440 back to 520, back to the 440s, back to the 520s. <clears throat> so we have this clear range now where it's hit the 520s three times, okay? Let me just remind you. Here it actually got to the 570. But it hit the fives, hit the fives, hit the fives, hit the fives before the market opened. Forget about the market open for a second. So clear resistance is at 525. Clear support is here at 440. Then here at 8 a.m., if the support is like 460, then this this was just like a little quick trade typo, but 464. <coughs> when the market opens here, the stock is at five-ish, okay? Let me remind you what I said at the market open. I said, CNAT, I will not chase failed morning spike so far. That was at 9.31 a.m. Eastern. So the market is open right here. I don't want to chase it. Remember my watch list from last night where I say I only want to dip by it. What, what do I want to dip by it at? Well, I would have liked it to go down to 440 or 460, but it looks like it's coiling in here around 470. So I buy it here because I know that there's support here at 460 and 450. So if I'm wrong, if somehow this stock keeps tanking, guess what? I simply will not profit. I will lose 10 cents. I might lose 20 cents max. But my goal, <coughs> first of all, my goal on last night's one was to make a dollar a share, which I hit. So I took profits. Today, I said, I rebought on early dip goals to make 30 to 50 cents. So if my goal is to make 30 to 50 cents and I'm risking losing 10 to 20 cents and I'm buying on a dip near support, on a contract winner that has proven that it can go back to the fives many times, guess what? That is good risk reward. Did I know I was going to be right? No. Do I know that it's going to spike specifically to 540 and then come back down? No. <coughs> I 
What I do know is that I'm buying a contract winner near the bottom of its range on a morning dip. And the odds of my profiting are high. And the volume is massive, by the way. The volume is nearly 20 million shares. So I know some people are going to be like, oh, Tim, you pump this up. Bullshit. The thing is trading a million shares a minute. Okay? Literally a million shares in a minute. This was a good morning spike. <coughs> All on its own. And normally I don't like trading these, these kinds of stocks because they're so choppy. But I went in with a plan, had the range, had the news, everything on my side, and it worked out perfectly. Specifically because I said I would not chase. If I bought this at five, guess what? I would have lost money because I would not have had a plan. Many of you guys are not studying ahead of time. You think that my DVDs aren't worth watching? Well, guess what? It's going to cost you money your lack of studying, your lack of preparation. If you do study, you'll understand what's going on. Look at this. Buddha Trader, and I copy and pasted this question because I wanted to bring this up. Buddha Trader says, Tim, don't get it. You said you weren't going to chase five minutes ago, and now you're buying at 470. When? Well, I'm not going to chase it at five, but again, at the bottom of the range, in the mid fours, hell yeah, I'm going to dip by. Because Buddha Trader, this is exactly what I said I would do in my watch list last night. So I appreciate that you respect Buddha, but please respect this strategy. Please respect literacy, okay? There's a reason why I'm specifically not buying it at five and I'm buying it in the mid fours. <coughs> ah, you hear how sick I am. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna teach you even if I die doing it. Get taught or die trying. Uh, here's Richard. He says, why did you use 470 as support? I was looking at 460. Richard, <coughs> I would have loved this stock to come down more. I don't choose what the bottom is. I saw it coiling. I don't just buy a stock randomly, okay? It had already had one little green candle here right as I was buying, and it looked like it might be the bottom. And really, support, I don't know why you're using 460 as support. I mean, really, 460 five was support here and when it's down you know off of 520 to 460 you can't be like a perfectionist okay this is this is a, a range bound thing right near the market open the whole goal is you know probably to sell into a morning spike like this obviously this was like a perfect morning spike it doesn't always work out this way um but you got to think that a lot of people who were selling here in this one minute candle from you know 510 to 470, it's because they're not prepared, they're not trained, they have no plan, and they're just buying it at the market open hoping for a morning spike. And when you don't get the morning spike right at the open, then you sell. And that creates the opportunity. This was one minute when it dropped from 510 down to 460, okay? And then it went right back up. So my planning and my preparation was key in order for this to be successful. And I said specifically, I would not dip by it. I sent out multiple emails, multiple alerts saying, sell in the low fives. This is best case scenario. <coughs> okay? It doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. And now I'm not touching it because the morning spike has come and gone. The play is over for me. I made my money. I taught my lesson. That's good. Here's Mr. KG, KDG in at 484 out of 527. Barry is actually trading BCEI, which is another play. I missed that morning spiker. That was a nice spike. And then Fred was a nice spike too. This just keeps going. And then PIR, which I was buying in the 840s, is now in the 940s. <coughs> so there are multiple stocks spiking. You got to be a fucking idiot to ignore these plays. And you got to be an even bigger fucking idiot to take the day off. It really pisses me off when I see some people saying, oh, I'm going to take the day off or the week off. Take the day or week off when there's no plays. Okay? There'll be days like that. I swear. But right now, there's so many plays, you're just wasting good money. I don't appreciate that. Uh, official 420 trader made 290. Uh, Nick, you know, made 150. But you're learning. This is what I want to bring up. Some people say, Tim, why do you highlight all these students' trades like $100? Really? Like, this is shit. Because you have to learn, and you all start somewhere. A lot of you guys with small accounts. How the fuck do you think you're going to grow a small account? Huh? 
You think you're just going to turn $500 into 1000 overnight? It's going to take a few little trades, and it's going to take preparation. And I want to give these guys credit because they've been prepared. They've been studying. I see what video lessons you guys watch. Those of you profiting, it's not a coincidence that you're watching a lot of video lessons. <coughs> video lessons and DVDs help. And zinc helps me. And not talking helps me, but I can't help it. I got to do this. Um, JD Hill made 250. Gormando, nice trade. Nikki, e, nice trade. Uh, I already talked about this. David, nice trade. And these are just a few. This is all in the first 15 minutes since I started this. Ace made 230. Flipping Stalker actually held it overnight and made 640. So that's cool. Um, and I like this one. I'm going to close it on this guy because he says, you know, in at 490 out of 525, thanks for the alerts and advice about chasing without you. I would not know anything. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate that. And just don't chase, okay? It's okay to miss a trade. It's okay to miss out on an opportunity. But just go in with a plan and don't chase. Oftentimes, these dip buys open up great opportunities. Um, that's it for today. I, I really got to get better. I can't keep talking. Um, but, you know, a few hundred dollars a day. This is my trades lately. Uh, you know, my $12,000 account is over $100,000. This, this sale isn't going to last, okay? So you either want to learn or you don't. I'm not going to force you. I can't make you, even if you do get these DVDs and newsletters, I can't force you to study. <coughs> I'm sure I'm not the best role model here teaching while I'm sick as shit, but I can't stop these plays and I can't stop these opportunities. And today I could not stop calling a perfect fucking trade from start to finish. And I'm pumped about that. So I don't mind trading with a small account next year. I'm going to be trading with just a $5,000 account in order to teach you guys how to grow a small account. Okay. My student, Eric Russell, who's been watching every single video lesson, every single DVD, he turned 5,000 and now he's at like 105,000 this year, okay? So it's not just me having success. Mark Crook, by the way, is, is my student of the year. Watch that video from the other day. He just passed 600,000 in profits. He's an upcoming millionaire student, but you take it trade by trade, opportunity by opportunity. Sometimes, you know, you really nail it like I did on CNAT. Sometimes you'll sell too soon, like I did yesterday on GSAT, and I missed the delayed spike. It's not about being perfect. It's about trying to witness it every single play so that you can learn, trying to do better, trying to take a piece of the move. A few hundred dollars a day adds up. As your account grows, you can size up and make a few thousand dollars a day. <clears throat> My first millionaire student, Michael Good, is sometimes making a few hundred dollars a day. My second millionaire student, Tim Grittani, sizes up more often, and he often makes a few thousand, sometimes 10 or even 50,000 in a day when he sizes up. But it's all about practicing, and you can't size up on your positions until you're more comfortable. And to get comfortable, it takes practice. And if you can't practice, let's say you're just paper trading. By the way, January 8th, stocks to trade will have paper trading. So get excited. I haven't had an exact date, but now I have an exact date. I got to write a whole blog post. Um, so stocks to trade, you'll be able to practice using fake money on January 8th or 9th. Um, but practice and studying, that's, that's all this game is. And I don't know if I can reach any of you. I'm sure that I'm probably discouraging some of you because I sound like shit and I'm swearing and I'm probably pissing off a few people, but I don't care. Okay. You either want to learn this stuff or not. I'm not going to force you. Um, I can't make you, but I can show you. And I will never, ever be content with myself if I don't show you these kinds of plays and these kinds of opportunities because I am scratching the surface at what is possible here. And my 4.5 million is scratching the surface. Tim Grittani has made nearly 4 million now in just over four years. Okay. Uh, there are millions of dollars to be made, but you have to be prepared and you have to study and you have to get experience. So take it or leave it. Let me know if you want to keep learning, leave a, leave a comment. I'm always curious to see uh, how many people actually make it through the end of the video. 
So if you understand what I'm saying, type in the word cough, C-O-U-G-H, uh, in the comment section below this video. And then that'll be my way of knowing that you watched the entire video. Thank you. Cough, cough. Hey, I just had to post a follow-up video to the video I made this morning because there are more lessons from this CNAT. It's not just always about the morning panic or the morning spike. Uh, the beautiful thing is that sometimes these stocks can be very range-bound. And so you can play that range many times throughout the day. It's not an exact science. As you saw, you know, the pre-market high on CNAT was 520-ish, uh, pretty much twice. And then it hit 575, so it was a breakout, but just for a few minutes. And then the pre-market low was 440, and it broke down uh, earlier today in the 430s. But the cool thing is that, you know, if you learn basic technical analysis where you're like, oh, this is a, this is a breakout here above 525, and it goes to 575, and it's a fake out breakout. And here, you know, if you say, oh, it broke the 440 support, it's a breakdown, it's a fake out breakdown. So you can't rely on these penny stocks, especially when they're volatile, to just say, oh, it's, it's got to be an exact breakout or an exact breakdown. It's more of a range, and it's more of trying to like, get a, a feeling or a sentiment of what's going to happen. On CNAT, you know, I dip bought this here in the 470s because I thought that it could morning spike. I didn't know if it was going to last or not. I don't care if it's going to last or not because I'm dip buying it. But if you're buying it on this breakout, you have to be very careful if and when it does break out, but if it only holds it for like, what did it hold it for? Like five or six minutes before crashing. And then here on the breakdown, yes, it broke, you know, this previous low, but just by a few cents a share. And this was actually some nice bottoming action here. And we have like a little wannabe cup and handle. So my watch list from last night, my commentary where I only want to dip by this still holds true. Uh, and I just gave a comment in the chat room. Like, I don't want to chase this here in the low fives. If I miss a further run up, so be it. This is the kind of play that I only want to dip by. And I caught the dip by in here. Um, I, I didn't really even dip by this. I don't really like trading around 10, 30, 11 a.m. So this one has surprised me a little bit. But what's more surprising is you guys. Uh, this is my Twitter, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. You should follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter is such a great tool. If you're not on Twitter, get on it. Because there's so many traders and it's so useful with these cash tags. Um, you know, I highlight some cool stuff. This was my first school to open in Bali. Uh, thank you guys for retweeting it. I appreciate it. I'm actually going uh, back to Asia in a, a few weeks for more of my school openings. I've got 20 schools right now in development. Uh, and some of them are opening. And, and I love every single one of them. These guys were, were pretty sweet in Bali. They gave me these necklaces. But aside from that... You guys are using uh, Twitter to really show screenshots of what you're doing, and it's very good for me to be able to judge you and help you, you know, do better and, and see what you're doing right or wrong. Eric was my student who I mentioned earlier, 5,000 into 100,000 now in a year. He just made another 3,300 dip buying MJPI. Uh, Antonio, good job dip buying CNAT and making 50 cents a share, making roughly 50 bucks. That's a good job, you know? Uh, also, Street Addict, Paul. I actually taught Paul uh, in person a few uh, days ago. I teach people in person too. If you're interested in learning in person, email admin at timothysykes.com. And one of the things that I worked with Paul was him just, you know, taking these profits and, and not going for home runs. And he nailed the dip buy on CNAT making 600. Uh, Jose is, is emulating my pictures with a cash and his local currency. Um, I, I appreciate that. Here's Alex uh, dip buying CNAT and making some uh, some good money. Uh, Fritz uh, saw my webinar last night and he heard about CNAT. Dip bought it. Same strategy, many different time frames. Uh, Sniper trades, I like this. He says, because I studied and he made $980. Literally studying does pay off, Okay. If you're studying in school, geometry, trigonometry, you know, history, it's bullshit. It's not going to help you make money in the real world. It's interesting, and I encourage you to stay in school. But if you want to learn something that literally can pay you, that's what I'm teaching here. 
Uh, and Sniper Trades had a good little trend line here. You know, this is an ascending triangle breakout. Very nice. Uh, here's EJST, made $314. I, I love highlighting these tweets. This is These are just people who have tweeted me. There's so many more. I'm sorry if I miss you, but I like showing that it's not just one or two students. You know, even though I only have a few millionaire students, a lot of you guys are on the right track, and it takes time. You know, making a few hundred dollars, sometimes fifty dollars, sometimes losing, but learning trade by trade. Uh, here's Barry, and he had BCEI. Um, I like this. Obadiah was making fun of. I say bad sushi uh, is a, a chart pattern in my trader checklist guide. In case you didn't know, also a lot of you guys are asking me. I, I tweeted about how trader checklist is not going to be free starting January first. That is correct. You've had this 11-hour guide for free. It should never have been free, but uh, you know I wanted you guys to actually study it. Now that it's been free for several months and you still aren't studying it, I give up. Um, so if you go to TraderChecklist.com, you can watch it for free until December 31st. So you have 11 days. You can watch one hour a day from now, and you can watch my entire Trader Checklist guide for free. On January 1st, I will be posting nine more hours to Trader Checklist, so it'll be a 20-hour massive guide, um, and it will not be free. It'll be a $500 guide, which still is, you know, one-tenth, maybe one-fifth of what it probably should be. <coughs> ah, I was trying to get through this video without coughing. Oh, well. Uh, more people. James uh, got in uh, CNAT near the bottom. I like this, near the bottom of the range at 430 and made nearly a dollar a share. Jackie was in uh, at 410 and out at 498. I'm gonna show you this tweet because it matters. I've been to Kenya twice, but never to this hotel where giraffes poke their heads in for treats so you can now feed them. So, you know, in the middle of the day, I'm trying not to trade. I'm a trading addict just like you, okay? The reason why I'm sick, yes, I'm traveling all the time, I'm doing too much, but it's also because I'm addicted to the market. I'm looking at the market all the time. And it's not healthy, and I've learned to try to control my addiction with travel, although now in this case, I'm traveling too much. I have to control that addiction. I'm just an addict in every sense of the word. Um, but And food too. Food, travel, and stocks. Those are my weaknesses. Not the normal addictions, but still addictions. But in the middle of the day to avoid overtrading, I try to look around the web and I research. I'm, I'm reading you know, different articles. I like Business Insider. They have a lot of interesting stuff. And I'm also looking all over Instagram and I'm looking for inspiration. And somebody posted this picture. I don't remember who. I gave them credit on Instagram. Um, but there's this hotel in Kenya where the, the giraffes will literally poke their heads in and you can feed them. So I, I've done a few student trips before. Um, again, I'm kind of crazy in case you haven't been able to tell. So I have taken students to the Maldives and the British Virgin Islands. And I'm thinking, you know, I might just take some students to Kenya and we'll all feed giraffes together. I think that might be uh, pretty cool. But I don't know if you think that's a good idea. We'll, we'll see. Um, if you like it, type in the word giraffe at the end of this video. At the end of my first video, I said type in the word cough to see if you were actually watching. But now type in the word giraffe if you want to go feed some giraffes in Kenya with me. And I might just do a student trip uh, there. We'll see how many of you guys actually watch this entire video. If you type in the word cough and giraffe, I'll know that you watched it all and I'll be very proud. If some of you guys only type in the word cough, that's cool. At least you got through the first part. If you only type in the word giraffe, then you weren't paying close enough attention to see the word cough earlier. I'm trying to test you because this video might not be important, these giraffes might not be important, but the more that you pay attention to these chart patterns and what I'm teaching you, trust me, the better off you'll do. You know, when some of my students post this stuff, uh, where was it? Sniper Trades makes 980 bucks and it says because he studied, okay? Um, and I appreciate all these tweets and I like this, you know, Paul Lonsford saying, follow my mentor. Thank you. I, I appreciate you following me. Don't follow anybody's alerts or picks. Follow my teachings. That's more important. Um, and Eric Russell says, because we study. So I hope you're beginning to see a trend. 
the more you study, the better prepared you are, the more money you'll make. It's not luck, okay? It's strategy. And to really optimize and take full advantage of the strategy, you got to prepare and study. Today, CNAT, we nailed it. I'm so proud of so many of you. I'm going to go blow my nose. Remember to type in the words cough and giraffe if you actually make it through this whole video. I'm curious to see how many of you can actually do it. My name is Tim Sykes and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm going to talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade. 